today obviously we're happy we got three points and we responded but it's been probably a few too many times this season where it took that half time for us to get back into games or we've started slow and give oppositions a leg up in the first half especially away from home so it's something that we need to look at as a whole group and why we are starting slow I think yesterday to be fair I think we started not bad first 15 minutes and then we had a spell of 20 minutes where we were sloppy giving the ball away um, and obviously at our level I don't think you can do that and then we give them a goal and it's an uphill battle but today I think we're coming, we're happy, we've responded, we got three points, we had a good second half so we just need to take that into the next fixtures. I suppose that's the flip side of it that you know in that second half when you do turn on, turn it on then you're able to, to, to really show that those battling qualities and, and grind out a win. Yeah definitely, um, we're missing some big players at the minute and uh, it's not an excuse because obviously we've still got three points but we are missing big players and you see in games sometimes there's a little bit of a miss there. We miss a little bit of creativity and um, but I think the subs yesterday made a massive difference. Um, Laugh, Glenn. When they come on I think we're huge. Uh, obviously Glenn got the assists. I know Laff missed a couple but just give us a presence up there. He held it, got it wide. We had more numbers in the box with him and Alfredo so... I think that helped us and we're going to need that. We need our whole squad, especially at this time in the season with how many games there is to contribute and make sure that when they come on, they're ready to make an impact. Is there an understanding about the slow start, that especially you know in the next two games as well, that this cannot continue because you know against other teams, you may not be getting that chance to come back in the second half? Yeah, definitely. But to be honest, I think it's been... I think it's more in the games that... There's boys that expect to win and think it's going to go out there, be easy, we can turn up, roll over. Um, we're playing St Johnson away, we're playing Dundee away, they're near the bottom, we can turn up and all of a sudden you're 1-0 down and it becomes a hard game. They give everything, they fight for everything which we know they're going to do, we speak about before the game. So I think in the bigger games we always seem to be at it. Um, we're usually the ones that start well but... That's something definitely that we need to um, we need to address quickly. You think this looks more competitive than perhaps some guys in the team assumed it might be when they, when they first came to the club? Maybe, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd probably say so. Um, you look at it from the outside and you see like the big teams beating the smaller teams 4-0, 5-0, but I think when you're here you realise that there's a better quality than you think from the outside and you realise that if you don't turn up in these games, then you're going to get hurt. And that's happened to us a few times this year. And as I said, it's something that we need to address if we want to be positive and push up on the right end of the table. In terms of the manager's message yesterday, how was it delivered at half-time? Was it a rant or was he quite sort of cold and calculated in how he, he went about telling you that the performance he's had to improve? Um, there was a bit of a rant and then it was quite cold. It was... A strong message, but without shouting that we need to book our ideas up, or literally we could be out of a title race. And it was as simple as that. And he got the reaction that obviously he intended. But we knew as players we come in at half time, and there was words between the players already before the gaffer even said anything. Uh, we knew that it wasn't good enough to a man, and um, but we had 45 minutes to turn it around. And we spoke about it before the game that this point. This game gets us three points and so does the Hibs and Celtic game. So this is just as important, if not as important, with the results over the weekend. And we knew we had to get three points. And obviously with a slow first half, it made it harder for us. The manager's been quite clever on how he's went about talking about title races. Like the game was at last week, you won. He said, well, not talking about title races because the performance wasn't quite there yet. He didn't score as many goals as you perhaps should have. But do you feel that if you can come through this next week, unscathed that you're very much in that, that race for the, for, the, for the title? Listen, it's so early and I know a lot of people say it but it really is that any team, you look at Aberdeen recently, um, before our game I think they were six points behind us, was it? And now they're going a run of four or five wins on the bounce and all of a sudden they're right behind us, they're in the title race as well. So it's one of those things that there's going to be teams that have dipped in the season, there's going to be teams that go on runs in the season and literally... There's so many games left that their runs can shoot you up the league and a little dip of a month for a bad few games can drop you down a few places, like as we've seen with Hearts recently. Um, but 
there is, I know it's easy to say, but we're halfway through the season and you don't win anything by Christmas or New Year. So we're happy where we are. Uh, we could have had more, but on the whole, um, it's been a good half of the campaign so far. But as I said, we've got two big games coming up, but we need to try and come out of with points. You think part of the problem perhaps is fatigue? Played too many games in terms of not starting games so well? There's a lot. Um, there's a lot of boys in there that have played a lot of games. Um, I think people from the outside have looked at it and say, you've only played 19 league games, so they don't see the whole picture. But we've had 35 games, which really is a season in five months, six months. So, yeah, there's a lot of boys in there that wake up every day, sore legs every single day of the week and I'm one of them <laughs> but at the end of the day it's what we come here for and we know that there's no time to moan there's no time to be tired if we want to be successful you have to win games of football and at the end of the day when you go out there on a Sunday a Saturday a Wednesday that's what you have to do you played Hibs recently obviously you played them again what do you expect them to offer you <clears throat> they're a good side uh, we showed them respect going there um, by the way that we set up and we had a game plan of playing on the counter attack and I think it worked really well. Um, we missed quite a few chances, which realistically we was a bit frustrated with before we had a good chance of winning the game. But at the same time, we know that they're dangerous and they can hurt us. They've got good players and um, we're expecting the same again. We know we're going to have to be at it. Um, we can't put in a performance like the first half the other night, but the other day, yesterday, but if we put in a performance like the second, we'll have a good chance of getting the result we want.